Well, hey, everybody, welcome to part number five in this devotional series that I'm doing called My Best Life Now. And I want to conclude this um, this few days that I've done by really looking at faith. My best life requires faith. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. And then in Hebrews 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So what is faith? Well, let me begin by telling you what faith is not. Firstly, faith is not a procrastinator because the Bible says now faith. In other words, faith is not for tomorrow. Faith is for now. We walk by faith on a daily basis. Stay in faith daily. Respond daily. The Bible says don't worry about tomorrow, partly because faith is not tomorrow. Faith is now. And one of the devil's greatest tactics is to get us to say, well, tomorrow I'll start. Tomorrow I'll believe. Tomorrow I'll hope. But faith is now. One of the greatest challenges that Pharaoh faced in the Old Testament was really in his dealings with Moses. He kept saying to Moses, or he said tomorrow, he said to Moses, tomorrow, tomorrow. In other words, he was prepared to put up with another day of frogs or another day of boil, another day of boils, another day of challenges. He was saying tomorrow, but faith says today. So faith is not a procrastinator. The second thing about faith is this, is that faith is not blind. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. So even though it says faith is not by sight, we've got to realize faith is not blind because faith is following in the ways of the Lord. We're not closing our eyes to reality. We have our eyes open to reality, but we are blinkered like a racehorse. We're focused on the word of God and the promises of God in all seasons. The devil wants us to get distracted. But if we can just focus our attention on God, on the things that God says, then we can see tremendous things happen uh, in, in the course of a year. And my prayer and, and faith goal for you for 2023 is that you truly would see God do some really remarkable things because your eyes are open to reality, but you're blinkered. You're focused on what God is saying. The third thing about faith is this, is that faith is not a leap in the dark. It's not a leap in the dark because the Bible says God is light. The Bible says he speaks. We hear, then we act. And so really faith to others may seem like a leap in the dark, but when you understand that he's light, that he speaks, that you've heard his voice and that you're acting on it, there is no sense whatsoever that it's a leap in the dark. It's actually a leap into obedience, having heard the voice of God. And the fourth thing about faith I want to say is this, is that faith is not stress-free. Let me tell you, after 27 years of, of church ministry, I can honestly say it's not stress-free. The Bible says in Mark 9, 23, all things are possible for the one who believes. And the father replies in the story of Mark 9, I do believe, help me to overcome my unbelief. So the reality is this, is there will be times of difficulty and of course stress when you are living, walking, talking, acting and leading in faith, there will be stress. But let me say this, if you're only even 51% sure, that Jesus will do what he says. He can work with that. Most of the time, the Lord says, trust me and let me work. So what's faith? Well, faith is really responding to the Lord. Faith is really responding to God's word, walking in obedience with God's word and living it out on a day-to-day -day basis. Where does the faith realm live? Well, the Bible says this, in his heart, a man and a woman plans their steps, but it's the Lord who determines the course, your course. Faith lives between your steps and his working. The sense where when it feels like you can't walk quick enough or can't achieve enough, you can't walk fast enough, far enough, and there's a gap between what you can do and what needs to be done, that's when faith kicks in. That's when you're really believing for God's supernatural hand to begin to work in your life, in your leadership, and in your ministry. And I can honestly tell you, friends, that after many years of 
learning how to live and lead by faith. There have been so many times when I've not been able to do enough, go far enough, and God has always, always, always met me in between. I really believe, friends, that when we make Jesus the source of life and faith kicks in, then we truly begin to live our best life. My prayer is that in 2023, you would know what it is to live your best life with Jesus as the source. Hey, everyone, may God bless you. Have a great, great New Year's Eve celebration. Remember, we've got church on, on December the 31st, New Year's Eve night from 11 o'clock at night to around quarter past 12 in the morning, an hour and a half, praise, worship, prayer, prophetic. Bring your giving as well because we're going to be fulfilling our vision offering from November. And it's also a faith commitment. God bless our finances, bless our businesses and our families in the new year. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow night at church, 11 p.m. It's going to be an amazing time as we cross over from one year into the next. Love you, church. Look forward to seeing you soon. Ciao.